You might hear a loud whirring sound at any point in time. That is this little ancient heater thing that my grandma gave me for the ice box that is the home gym right now. But y'all just gonna have to deal with it because it's cold as hell. But if you've been wondering where I've been, loca, mainly Lowe's. I've been trying to like expedite the process to getting my house moving ready. She's not there yet. She is just being stubborn and refusing. Morale is low, squad. Morale is low. Meh. We're like still a couple weeks out, but I have been pushing and moving all my stuff in. I moved most of the boxes that I had in storage to the one corner in my house that was fully finished. We got the movers to move my furniture all in the middle of the room like a poltergeist did it. anxious and excited to get in there. Mostly excited. I just like need this next step to happen kind of thing. The closest thing that I can say it's like is basically you're driving home right and the urge hits you and you need to go to the bathroom like now. But you're too poo shy to use a public restroom so you risk it all and see if you can wait till you get home. At no point in the journey is it as bad as when you make the turn down your street when it's like life or death. The urge is dire. Like you're white knuckling the steering wheel, breaking out in a cold sweat, praying to the heavens, time like slows down, you're hyper vigilant of all of your surroundings, but like you're still maintaining the speed limit because the only thing worse than shitting your pants as an adult is simultaneously committing vehicular homicide. So you go in the speed limit, you're aware of your surroundings, you're being safe, but you might just, there might be an accident of a different sort. <laughs> we got a little on a tangent, but the sentiment is the same. It is that feeling. It's the feeling of being so close and just needing to get there, yet so far away. So that's where we are with the house. Lots of trips to Lowe's. I go pretty much every day, and I've also been in a little bit of a turf war with the fence guys over my garage gym. So you can't really even walk in here that great. They keep encroaching on my space and I did something really petty y'all. I like moved all their stuff to one corner and I set up a barrier of exercise mats. <laughs> like encroach on the home gym again. I don't think they know that we're in a turf war, but I am never gonna say anything. But for Black Friday, I bought a bunch of new workout equipment, a squat rack slash binge thing, bunch of plates, a barbell. We're gonna start really getting into weightlifting and I am excited about that. But we have to assemble all of the stuff and I finally cleared out a big enough space to get this gravy train rolling. So let's assemble. Okay, first order of business, we're gonna set up this like little rack thing that I got up off of Amazon to organize stuff. And the only tool that I currently have right now is some craft scissors that I stole from my mom. Anyways, so in the past two weeks, I haven't been doing too terribly bad. I've been skipping my gym workouts and stuff, mainly because I'm like, oh, I'll do it later. And then I get to like moving boxes and stuff in the house and then I'm like, oh, I'm gassed. So I don't do it. But I've been keeping up with like the yoga challenge that I've been doing. I've been doing that every single day, which I'm kind of surprised because sometimes I get it in at like 10.45 at night, but I get it in. Food. Same thing, I've been using the house as a bit of an excuse. Like I'll get busy doing stuff over here and I'll do it all day long, right? And then I realize I'm hungry all of a sudden and DoorDash becomes a very viable option. Like pretty much the only thing that's been saving me from eating out constantly is the sponsor of this video, which is Green Chef. If you didn't know, Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company that helps you cook clean no matter your lifestyle. Whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, or gluten-free, they'll deliver delicious chef-curated recipes to your doorstep that feature farm-fresh produce and organic, sustainably sourced ingredients. Personally, I love the convenience because it saves so much time planning and going to the store. You get pre-measured, mostly prepped ingredients, plus it takes the monotony out of coming up with dinner ideas because they now offer 30 different options to choose from every single week, and they allow you to mix and match meal preferences to suit everyone in your household. So if you are curious about Green Chef and want to try them out for yourself, you can use my code Beatrice60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Go to greenchef.com for more details. Thanks again to Green Chef for sponsoring this video. I don't 
know why I'm having just so much resistance like oh I can't accomplish this goal until everything's absolutely perfect because it will never be and like that's something like I know and I've experienced multiple times over and right now I'm just realizing like my main thing that I need to focus on is overcoming resistance. Resistance is like the weirdest thing in the world, especially when it comes to self-inflicted resistance because it's like the goal or the idea or the thing that you literally choose to do and then yourself getting in the way. Like, what is that? Why is that a thing? But all of the distractions and things aside that have happened these past two weeks, I am the biggest problem, it's me. There's that bit of news, <laughs> which I'm sure everyone was well aware. And also this home gym is going to be the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> There's going to be no excuse when this hoe gets done and the contractors are back. So I'm going to shut off the camera or just like put, pop it over there so no one can hear. Or see. Okay. This corner rack thing I might actually end up putting in the house because it's meant to hold yoga mats and other small things. Plus I got this other weight rack which had the most confusing directions ever and I had to put it together and take it apart three times before I actually got it right. And also the contractor came in just in time to see me drop it on my head. Do you want that other cabinet that you brought from the other house then? Oh! <laughs> yeah, it didn't hit me. I caught it in time. But um... Or do you want to keep it? The one that, that one that has a chunk out of it? Yeah. I guess broken up. But that's okay because eventually I figured it out and moved on to the grand poobah, the squat rack slash bench thing, which was the fastest to put together until I realized when I had to tighten the bolts that I did not have the proper tools for that. Okay, I don't have um, wrenches. For some reason, this was the most expensive thing that I've been putting together all day. This squat rack and everything else came with the proper like little tools but this did not and the tools from the previous things don't fit it so we need to go to Lowe's again haven't gone today <laughs> the universe knows it uh, and this pimp will be pimpling because I've been putting together so many things I can't not lick my lips when I do it and so I've been slathering on a plethora of aquaphor to keep my lips from falling off my face my sensitive ass skin won't have it, so a pimple has formed and it hurts. Just at my grams visiting Cheddos real fast, waiting for my mom. Ah. Hi Cheddos. Then we'll go to Lowe's. I didn't go last night because I was just like ah. sick of going to Lowe's. Sick and tired of Lowe's. It's like a really good thing that Chetty has been staying with my grandma for this whole time because my grandpa has been in the hospital for like the entire time Chetty has lived with them. Then my grandma is not lonely at night because she got this little rascal rapscallion. Hi huh, Chettos. <laughs> Why are you think like that? <laughs> oh. He's just still in the hospital. It's just like one thing after another. Like it's just one thing is resolved. It's Another thing, he's been there for since before Thanksgiving at this point. So I went to Lowe's, got the wrenches, and tightened these hoes. I definitely stripped a couple of bolts though because I do not know what I'm doing and don't have the grip strength for this nonsense. Someday that might be an issue, but today is not that day, so we count it as a win. Leaf blower instead of a broom is a game changer. Just letting y'all know. Now I gotta mop and get some more of this dust out of here. I got this fancy spin mop and this is the first time I've used it and it definitely looks like this is the first time I used it because I am struggling. But still super satisfying to see that color change even though it's a scam and the wet mats will turn back to the dusty color that they started with after they dry. Plus I actually continued to walk all over them while they were still wet because I couldn't wait for them to dry before I started putting everything back in its spot. I was too excited. And I may have overdone it on the plates that I got because I don't know why I thought that I would ever need four 45 pound plates. I don't know how buff I'm planning to get, but I guess real buff because I thought it was a necessity. Or I just got caught up in the Black Friday sale. I don't know. But the back of this squat rack is pretty cool because it has this built-in storage area that you can just roll the weights on, which is a little bit easier than like the peg 
plate holder things. But I did end up putting some of the 10 and 15 pound plates on the dumbbell rack peg things. And I finally, after all these years, got my dumbbells up off the floor and not in a pile where I'm searching for the match. This bar says to peel the tube like a can of biscuits. So we're gonna see what happens. It indeed did not peel like a can of Pillsbury croissants. So I ended up getting frustrated and coming back the next day and attacking it like a raccoon with rabies. This tube was definitely the final boss of setting up the home gym. It's actually not surprisingly terribly cold in here with these two like little heater things that I brought in here. And the contractors just hung up some drywall temporarily like over the doorway to like the main garage and it's keeping the heat pretty well so might not even have to do anything too fancy for like heating and cooling in here but the gym at this point is pretty viable it is pretty viable i am eventually going to like mud the walls make it look halfway decent finish it out and get the contractor to put like some recessed lighting in here rather than these huge fluorescent tubes which I am afraid of because I flail around and the ceiling is not very tall in here and it's only a matter of time before I break them. But yeah, it's coming together. It's like totally solid right now. Maybe we should, I don't know, <laughs> use it? Go around and find out? I just decided to leave off the plates for the squats because I wasn't super sure how this would go. Plus the bar itself weighs 45 pounds, but yeah, pretty different feeling and a bit harder to balance and keep proper form, but I'll get better and I'll also schedule a video call with my co-pilot coach Grace and ask for tips on form and such when it comes to using a barbell. But next I did glute bridges like all the girlies on the gram and these were pretty straightforward and I felt like these went relatively well and I didn't feel like the barbell made it super different than when I just slapped some dumbbells on my hips. But where I really liked using the barbell was for deadlifts. It just feels better for some reason. I also felt like my form was a bit better, maybe because the dumbbell is a little bit more awkward and gets in the way. But that's all I really knew how to do. I had taken a weightlifting class in high school and I ended up being like the only freshman girl in that class. And there was like four other girls in the class and they were all seniors. So I just clung to them for dear life. But we just kind of messed around and we didn't really do much most of the time. We only would like slap around a few weights when the teacher walked by. So I didn't learn much from that. And so yeah, I don't have a whole lot of experience with regular barbells and I avoid this section in the gym because that is where all the bros are. So I don't really have a lot in my arsenal. So I just wrapped up this leg workout on the functional trainer, but I'll figure out more stuff as we go along and it's definitely nice to have options now. I like the functional trainer and all, but it just takes a while to change out to the different exercises. Like the versatility is kind of a blessing and a curse for that thing, but I digress. So I just did a quick and dirty leg workout. I just threw stuff together. I did what I knew how to do and that was about it. As far as stuff with the barbell, because I am not fully comfortable with that thing yet. Like the movements are still the same, like squats and deadlifts and stuff, but it just requires like a lot more balance. So you're using more muscles to like stabilize or whatever than you do when like the weight is like more central, like with dumbbells or you're in like fixed machines at the gym where like you can only do the one movement that the machine allows. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? But I'll get going on an actual program. And as far as eating, I've been thinking, I've been seeing people do like the 30 days, no fast food challenge and just like uploading every day to reels. Samantha Joe's been doing that and I've been like, oh, that would be like a really good thing for right now in my life when I am like doing like the move-in process because it is way easier just to be like, this is only temporary, I'll eat out. But then you kind of get stuck in that and you're just looking for something quick and fast and whatever. And like, if I do that challenge, that would kind of force me to cook at home and be accountable, and especially if like I'm uploading a reel every day. And it will also just kind of get me back into vlogging every day or whatever else. I just, I filmed quite a bit over the past two weeks, but I'm like, it's not good enough. I don't know. Just weird in my head kind of stuff. And I feel like if I just make something every single day and put it out, then it will just 
be what it is. Sometimes it'll be good, sometimes it'll be bad, I don't know. Just get in that grind. And with shorts, because they're only a minute long, it's not that overwhelming. But other than that, we're just still plugging along, trying to overcome resistance, which is like the hardest thing. So yeah, that's all I got. If you guys want to subscribe and hit that notification bell, all that stuff really helps out the channel. Other than that, I just hope you're having a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!